Fundamentals of Art 1, we're introducing the elements of art and principles of design. The fundamentals of Art 2, they're applying them. We go and we talk about a lot of the fundamentals of character design to start the class off. We do a lecture and we show them different examples of that stuff. We have them go in and do 20 minutes of really quick sketching where they just kind of let everything out onto the paper. We go through a significant um, process of approvals where they come to us, they show us their designs, we change things up. We don't like the students to kind of stop at the first iteration of it. We like them to reiterate and reiterate and try to come up with the best uh, possible character design. So once we get to that point, the students create a style sheet. That style sheet includes all kinds of different facial expressions, some turnarounds, so a front and a side view of the character, and then some different staging poses, or poses that they want to model or have the character in when they sculpt it. So they select the pose that they want it in, they build their armature made out of a wire called armature wire. It's pretty pliable and, and easy to bend around. And then they start applying clay to that. So we did that last class. Now we're here in the final stages of that. So they've created their final block out. And now they're gonna go and they're gonna do a first pass of kind of moderate detail. Moderate detail, they start getting big chunks of clothing. The students start kind of hinting at facial features. And then the finer detail is stuff like buttons, zippers, seams, facial hair, weaponry, kind of armor. The very last pass would be thinking about material qualities. So they're thinking about what's this material? How is it made? How does it react? How does it behave? We always say burlap wrinkles differently than silk. And so you're creating the illusion of a material, whether it be hammered steel or brushed aluminum. They look differently. They react to light differently. And so they're trying to capture those qualities in their, in their clay. Everyone sculpts a little bit differently and we give them a wide range of art styles that they can work in. The main goal is to really getting the students to understand how to use those elements and apply them to their 3D work. Obviously, you're gonna approach a cartoony sculpt completely differently than something that you're trying to get to be completely realistic. So we kind of try to push them towards one that's gonna uh, lend itself well to where they're at artistically.